Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're having the best day of your life today. 10 days from the exam, getting ready to rock it. Today, we got a short free response question. We're going to work through the solution. We got the earth, some object above the earth, H. And this is pretty much going to be a question about different systems and how different systems act when they're interacting with one another. So first, we have an object that's released from rest uh, above the Earth's surface, H is shown in the diagram below. Great. In the first one, they want us to determine whether the system containing only the object, that's really important, is open or closed in regards to mechanical energy and state your reasoning. So when they see this open or closed, it just means is energy going to be conserved or not conserved? And we know that by outside forces or not. But the fact that it says only the object, if I were to draw a box around the system right? To say, all right, we're only going to be looking at the box. Now I look at the force on the box. Now, although the box is, we're just looking at it, it still has the force due to gravity. But we see the force due to gravity comes from outside the system. So this is force is outside. And it's really as simple as that. If there is an outside force acting, it is an open system, all right? And things are not going to be conserved. So in this, clay, in this case, it is an open system. And the reasoning is because there is a force from the earth that acts from outside the system on this object. And A sub I2 determine whether the system containing the earth and the object is open or closed. So now if we do the same thing where we draw the object and we draw the earth. If we draw a box around this new identified system, we now can say there is a force due to gravity on this object. And there's also a force due to gravity that this object pulls on this due to Newton's laws. So we could say that both of these forces are internal, so there's no net external forces. So this system is closed and things are going to be conserved. Now that we got those formalities out of the way, we can look at the main crux of this problem. It says they want to know the total momentum of the Earth object. That's really, really important. And is the total momentum going to go up? Is it going to go down? Or is it going to stay the same as it falls towards the Earth? Also, we're going to have to look at the energy of the object. Okay, so once again, they're having us determine things according to the systems that they tell us about. Is the kinetic energy going to go of the object going to go up, down, stay the same as it falls to the earth? And a clear, coherent paragraph length response, which may also include equations, drawings, explain your answer. Okay, so let's talk about this first, the total momentum of the earth object system. Well, first, we look at the definition of total momentum. And the law of conservation momentum says that if there's no outside forces acting, then momentum is conserved. So to repeat that, if no outside net forces act, then momentum is conserved. All right, now this is kind of counterintuitive because we know that the object is going to speed up. So we look at momentum as being MV and we're like, oh, this object is going to speed up. Therefore, momentum must change. But that's where this earth object comes in. Okay, because in that picture that we just drew, if we have an object and then we have the earth, remember, this is the system. And Newton's third law says that if the earth pulls in this box, well, the box is also going to pull on the earth. These are internal forces. So there's no net external forces coming from outside this system. That's the thing. And that's the only reason why that the total momentum has to be conserved. It stays the same. But now if I simplify and look at this object right here, we know that as it falls, we're going to have gravitational potential energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is definitely going to increase and kinetic energy is equal to one half MV squared. So the object itself is going to speed up because of this kinetic energy change. So the kinetic energy of the object is going to increase because energy is going to be conserved inside the system. And we're going to have a transfer from gravitational potential energy of the object into kinetic energy of the object and the force due to gravity also you can also say that it applies an impulse however you want to state that the speed of the object is going to increase which is going to increase the kinetic energy but this object looking at just this little system does not change the total momentum of the system and that's super counterintuitive i understand how that could be confusing but we need to understand that we have to understand what system are we looking at
This, we're looking at a really big system. There's no outside forces. This object, it has an outside force. That's why kinetic energy can increase. I hope that helped answer it, guys. If you have any questions about this problem or any other problem, leave them down in the comments below. Hope you have yourself an amazing day.